We'll start with the Yankees. Um, now six games in front of the Rays in the AL East, and we have been getting call after call from fans um, hoping that there's still a pitcher out there for the Yankees to get, a move for them to make. Do you expect the Yankees to make any sort of big move before the trade deadline? I think they're going to make a move. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a big move. The, the players they have now are good enough to win the World Series. But they need one more starting pitcher. They need a quality guy, Marcus Stroman, and a level above that, Madison Bumgarner or something of that ilk. And that, I think, would put them in the best position to win the American League pennant. And with some of the issues that the Dodgers are having in their late, you know, in their bullpen, uh, puts them in a little bit of a precarious spot, even though they are really good. So I think the Yankees look at this and say, we haven't won the World Series in a while. We need one more starting pitcher. And I think they're in a position to go get one of those guys. Yeah, but Tim, uh, I mean, the name that we keep hearing here in New York, and uh, of course we've heard Scherzer, but that, that would be, I mean, unrealistic at this point, is Madison Bumgarner. I mean, the Yankees, that's out of their control, though, isn't it? Regardless of the offer that they make, it, it's going to be ultimately up to Madison Bumgarner where he decides he wants to go, no? Yes, and it's up to the Giants whether they want to move him. And miraculously, the Giants somehow played themselves back into playoff contention in the National League where everyone's in playoff contention. So I still think Bumgarner is going to get moved, but I'm not positive anymore because of the way the Giants have played. And you're right, he controls all sorts of things. And their general manager is in a position for anxiety where he knows he's got a big piece here and he's not going to rest until he gets exactly what he wants in return. And if he doesn't get it, he's not going to move him. And if they're in this thing, they're going to keep him. So a lot of things have changed in the last three weeks. Tim Kirchin joins us here on the show. Tim, what is what is the appetite of the New York Yankees? Like how 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 seriously are they considering trading their most valuable assets for a starting pitcher at the deadline? Well, they've made it kind of clear that Clint Frazier isn't going anywhere, but I refuse to believe that if they can get the one last piece and he is the piece that can get it, I think they should and will move him. But again, that's why general managers get paid what they get paid because they make these decisions at this time of year. I just think the Yankees are in a spot much like the Dodgers are when you're that big, your payroll that high and expectations that high that it's just not good enough to tear through their division, win 105 games, and not win the World Series. So that's why I think the Yankees are serious about doing something here. But Brian Cashman is a very smart guy, and he's not going to give up everything he's built here just to get one guy who might or might not make a difference.